<laughs> um, you know, today it is going to be hot. I mean, it's, it's been a little hot, but we've actually been seeing temperatures in the upper 80s, lower 90s, and that's really nice because that's yeah, kind of nice. a little bit below normal. Kind of felt like fall. <laughs> I know, almost did. And today it certainly looks uh, a lot like summer still. We have lots of sunshine. You can kind of see some of the dry areas on the grass. Now, we're definitely in a drought in parts of the state, and we don't have any rain in the forecast. So it's going to be a while before we fix that problem. Now let's go to links one and talk about something good. Only 36 days until fall. So today we have 13 hours, 26 minutes of daylight. So we set the sun at 816, but come September 1st, it is going to be at 757 and November 1st, 635. If you can imagine that it seems so far away, but today kind of dealing with uh, what we deal with in the summer. It's just going to be the summertime heat. We've got the heat advisory for all of really just south of I-40. It's still going to be hot just east of McAllister, but looking at where we stand as far as the drought is concerned, we still have some extreme drought in southwest Oklahoma and also north central northeast Oklahoma. Officially nothing in Oklahoma City right now, but that could change as we go throughout the next couple of weeks or so if we don't actually get any rain in here. So the problem is going to be the wildfire threat, especially in western and southern Oklahoma. Humidity is going to be very low, and that's also where we could have a little bit more wind. So what I'm doing is looking at our view from space and our infrared. I'm really not seeing a whole lot earlier. We had a couple of fires out west, but they were likely control burns. But this is is something we're going to have to keep an eye on for the next couple of weeks at least. This is our American Fidelity camera, part of our Lucky Star Sky Chem Network. Blue skies, 89 degrees. A south southwest wind right now at nine miles an hour. Dew points in the upper 50s. Temperatures in the low 80s in northeast Oklahoma, but we're sitting in the low 100s and parts of southwest Oklahoma. Mid and upper 80s in the northwest and some upper 80s across the southeast. We do have a south wind between about 10 to 15, a weak cool front just to the north and west. Behind it, it is a north to northeast wind between about 10 to as much as around 25 miles an hour. This front is slowly going to put maybe push a little bit farther south, but I don't think it's going to go across the entire state. Here's the thing, though. It's not going to cool anything down. It will provide a little bit of a wind shift tomorrow actually looks a little hotter for some of us. And the heat advisories, of course, for parts of southern Oklahoma, but excessive heat warnings all across Texas. And this kind of heat is going to stick with us for quite some time. So we're going to be in that ring of fire, allowing for rain and storms to kind of go around that heat dome, but we're going to be in the thick of it. Temperatures in the upper 90s, low 100s as we get into the weekend with no relief in sight. Maybe by about midweek of next week, it looks like temperatures will start to go down into maybe the mid 90s. But I really don't see anything a lot cooler than that at this point. So today, 99 degrees in Oklahoma City, but 90 in Ponca City, 91 in Alva, low 100s across the south, potentially as hot as about 110 this afternoon in Altus. So overnight tonight, we're going to stay clear. The wind's going to be out of the northeast between about 5 to 15. Temperatures in the mid and upper 60s across the north, low to upper 70s, though, across the far south. Tomorrow, 99 in Oklahoma City, 109 in Ardmore, 108 degrees in Durant, 100 in Clinton, 104 in Hobart, and the low to mid 90s now still across the northern half of the state. By Saturday, 103 degrees in Oklahoma City. The wind still coming in out of the south between about 5 to 15. So again, it's not a lot of mixing going on by any means, but a little bit more of a breeze in western Oklahoma. 102 in Woodward, 104 in Clinton, and 106 Saturday afternoon in Altus. Now, by the time we get into Sunday, temperatures really don't move a whole lot. I think we're going to stay in the low 100s, those overnight lows. We're going to hold on to the low 70s. And notice, still not a whole lot of wind. By Monday afternoon, still 100 degrees. I think we do drop here eventually by early next week into the mid and upper 90s. And by the time we get into about Friday of next week, we still have some sunshine. And there was a little bit of data trying to show maybe a couple of showers popping up in and around the state, but not necessarily Oklahoma City. So for now, keeping it dry, keeping it hot,